AppShrink.com here. Today we're taking a look at Podio for iOS. Podio is a powerful collaboration tool that allows you to organize yourself and uh, create tasks and stay uh, well prepared for uh, your job. So let's go ahead and jump in and see how to actually use it. Uh, right here we are in tasks and you could go ahead and gently pull down this uh, menu to reveal some uh, items back here. You could also go ahead and simply tap on it. It's a very cool little interface. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into tasks. Uh, these are your primary uh, objectives really. So uh, let's go ahead and create one. And you simply tap to start typing and enter a task name. Let's just call it task, nice and easy. And we could set a due date. And this could be um, or it could rather include time or it could just be on a specific day. So let's go ahead and set uh, January 6th, month from now, and you could actually go ahead and assign various people to the task. Uh, these are uh, Podio um, members, and let's just go ahead and pick myself to be assigned for this task, and we could enter some information. And this is an expandable field, so you could go ahead and enter as much info as you like for this task. And you could actually attach a file, which is really cool. Uh, you could go ahead and choose from various sources. For example, you could pick a file from Dropbox, Evernote, Box, Google Drive, and things of that nature. So we're not going to attach anything and just go ahead and create this task. So there we have it. We have a task. There are some sample tasks that come with Podio that you could go ahead and check out. They're actually useful tips on how to uh, use the app. And if you don't like the task or you finished with the task, you could go ahead and check it off and it will jump into completed tasks. And just as easily you could go ahead and delete it. The beauty of Podio is actually delegation and you could assign tasks to uh, multiple people and uh, get stuff done this way. So if you have something that you want someone else to do, simply create a task and choose them from this list of people. And uh, uh, hopefully they will get it done and report back to you. So let's go ahead and explore some other stuff like activity. You could jump in here and browse uh, things that have happened in the past. So you can see people have joined workspaces and things of that nature. These are your contacts. Uh, these are actually people in Podio. So uh, when your uh, team members sign up for Podio, they will appear here. And you can go ahead and browse them by letter and also search right at the top. So at the bottom here, you actually have several options. You have notifications, so when things happen, you will be notified here. Uh, there's also a start section and a viewed section for the notifications. And you could actually message people right in Podio, so you don't have to go and send an email or a text message. You could do it right in the application. Simply add a recipient, add a subject, add a message, and you could just as easily as before add a file from the sources we've seen before. There's settings where you could configure a few things like notifications and you could upgrade the account for a fee and there's also other things that you could go ahead and do. Inside the application you have the ability to search and this will search pretty much everything that it can. So if we search for task you will see that our tasks come up. If we, for example, search for a name, it would go through and find us the contacts that are relevant to our search. You could also go ahead and create a workspace and add members to your workspace. We could do this from a Podio list, a list of Facebook contacts, your uh, email addresses that you type in here, and of course your address book which I will not go ahead and show. So there you go. This is Podio for iOS, a very, very powerful tool for collaboration. It's uh, got tons of features, so I highly encourage you to go and check it out on your own. So go ahead and check it out on the App Store.